and hello and welcome back to the crooked man I don't even do I still have my load yes I do I don't even remember what happened last time because uh, we have decided to I well I decided to uh, take a break from it since one recording didn't go so well which you will never see anyway so uh, let's load this and I will explain as we go on Cars, car sounds, commentary, go away you freaking cursor, man this place was far, that took almost all day, so this is the place, looks like the school was abandoned, no one around, I f though I guess they'll be inside anyway, let's take a look, so uh, I tried recording this like ages ago, it didn't work, I got annoyed with the game and yeah. and uh, I didn't even read that and uh, so yeah so it's it it's kind of annoying for me but it's kind of annoying because my new microphone keeps blinking at me blink 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 so uh, let's let's do this Oh, the lecture hallway is locked. Bathroom? Oh, I really want to go bath. I'm going to loo. I want to go pee. Am I about necessary repairs? Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. A list of faculty. Oh, God. That's a long list. I'm not gonna read that all out. Stop thinking of the microphone. I know you're working. Okay, let's go to the right then. Let's see what's down here. Shall we? <gasps> There's something here. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Got the infirmary key. Okay, so I guess we need to find the infirmary. Stop moving around, dog. I can see you. I'm watching you. Oh, what? I didn't even see that. I was looking at my dog. Was someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Let's chase him. Which room is this? Lefty Lewis. Okay. There's nothing in the refrigerator. Shelves full of reports. The drawers hold miscellaneous things. Again. Does it, is there anything in here? Lots of books and lots of books, okay. And a box of tools. Oh, okay, so a whole box. So I guess a, sc a screwdriver will be handy and a crowbar. I don't know. My nose is really stuffed though. I don't know why. I have a really stuffed nose at the moment. But I need to continue on for the lols. What room was this? Eugene McGuire. Lots of books. Lots of books again. An open security box. Okay. Was there anything in here? The trash can is empty. Move the chair out of the way. I cannot do that. No! There's like a fire extinguisher here, just in case there's a fire in the college or school or whatever. Do I have any money? Vending machines don't work, okay. What's this? Reference room. Uh, it's locked. Computer room. Parlor. The parlor. Ah, oh, I want to go to the parlor today. I'm so posh. I'm guessing the staff rooms are to the left, so I will just keep going Cindy Peterson. It looks like some sort of diary. Michael's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realised that I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code so I feel like I should change it. My Mitchell's. Mitchell's, Mitchell's. I need to look out for Mitchell's birthday. 
Andrew Robinson. It's a lot of sig six digit pin. Key to John Keith's room. I don't know why. I was just I'm just in John Keith's room right now. I don't know why. Some sort of notebook. Times are changing, our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay, I don't know what that means. I do not know anything about law. I'll ask my friend someday. I'll ask my friend Chris someday about what the hell that means. Because I obviously have no fucking idea. Ray Twain. It looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, law too needs a number, number representation after all. Basic things such as on or off, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking. I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Okay, lots of books. Why does this law school need have math books? I'm terrible at math. The binary number is made up binary digits, aka bit. What? The a binary number is made up binary digits. Uh, oh, I guess. Uh, one equals one. Uh, boring numbers. Boring. Computers. No power. Where's all the power? Franz Moore. Franz Moore, have something for me. It looks like some sort of diary. I lost the note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing a seminar for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. I should look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. But if you use whatever, then you have my problem. Okay, so we've got a lot of passwords to think of. I got to find the infirmary, which is probably down here. I think. Genesis room. And is this the infirmary? Yep, there we go. Unlock the infirmary. Okay. Just have a sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just bad dreams. Oh, no. Oh! No, okay. We've got medical treatment. Found a parlor key in one of the drawers. Of course. I mean, why not? A parlor key. Oh, God. Oh, of course, the janitor's room is unlocked. So the parlor is upstairs, isn't it? Upstairs on the left, I think. Is this the parlor? No, it's the reference room. Is this the parlor? No, it's the computer room. Is this the parlor? Yes. Unlock the parlor door. Da, da, da. This low, long. Ugh. What's this? I guess it's a wire or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be though. Uh, apparently, it's made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. Who's Ray Twain again? Oh yeah, Ray Twain was the guy with the stupid math book. Okay, so it's long. One o one o one 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 one. It's the password. I'm guessing because he not, likes mathematics, so he used the binary code. Lefty Lewis, where's Ray Twain? 10101111. Is this Ray Twain? Yeah. So it would be. Okay. 10 is 2. So two, one o one two five one five two five one five two five one five. Yes, I'm genius. I, it contained the key to the reference room. Oh, that's where the key to the other bit is, isn't it? What? What the fuck? Okay, good job, David. You just tripped down the stairs. Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in the school, you shady punk? Oh, my nose. 
Sh shady punk. I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me your name or, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. You sure? As if a robber, robber would say that they were one. What do you want? A permit? Now, you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. Yep, you are D. D, that's your name. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell, you, tell some shady guy my real name? Pfft. Yeah, what a little bat. He's a dick. <laughs> uh, what a little, rap, little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. Okay. So he pisses David off, apparently, which is not a good sign. To the reference room. Oh my god. I have to go... Oh my god. What do I do here? They say that people desire those who think similarly to them, or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide an, any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this full of stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike the people you don't like? Not really, I guess. If you're... If they were like your polar opposite, but you kind of like them, but... You would think that they would make fun of you for liking them. I guess it's... it. it I don't know, I'm trying to make sense of it, but... I reckon Boots checked in and out. Okay. Countments of arrivals. George White, a single decorator, everyone he is sometimes called father in the making law for teaching the first class of independence. It's got attached door, but the screw is a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. Well, what do you know? I have a screwdriver. Oh, wrong thing. Item, screwdriver, screw that shit off. There's a writing behind it, 1647, is it a code or something? Glad to take this screwdriver, though I'm not sure if it'll be useful again. So who was the one who, maybe it's on this, this floor. Hopefully it's on this floor, 1647 I think it was. Lefty Lewis probably? No, it wasn't him. Huge Maguire, no. It was it was someone from upstairs probably. Like I think probably. It wasn't right away. We've already checked his uh fronts more. It was like some sort of diary. I lost the note from us so sixteen forty seven. Oh, what? Some sort of diary. I lost the note with my security box password, that's Writing for a seminar in the reference room, maybe I left it in the book somehow. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does. Okay. 1647. Maybe it's something. Maybe it's that six digit. No, it can't be. One, two, three. No, it's a six digit code. I guess I can just go around into other people's rooms and just like try their boxes out. See what boxes uh, it allows me to. Okay, no. Doesn't let me do that. Okay, it doesn't let me in there. Okay, 1647. This is a really cheap way of... Yes, did it. It came key to lecture hallway. <gasps> oh, fucking hell, no. Uh, I should have saved. What? What? Oh! Why is it here? But back in the hell, I thought. Uh, 
I'll be right back.